Why is it that when I do a load of washing that also involves a quilt cover, everything ends up inside the quilt cover at the end of the wash? Emma, 41. Hello, my name's Hugh Hunt. Well, that's a really good question and I never really thought about it. So I started thinking, imagine that this is the, the washing machine. And I've got a pair of socks here and I'll throw them into the washing machine. There we go. And as the washing machine tumbles, it, the socks kind of stay at the bottom and it would reverse direction and the socks kind of stay at the bottom. And there's water in there and the water will slosh the socks around. But now let's suppose we put a quilt cover in there. Well, I've got a, um, got a pillowcase here and for the size of my washing machine here, this pillowcase is about right. And if I put the pillowcase into my washing machine, then what you notice now is that it doesn't really tumble so much. It kind of stays where it is. But then you've got to imagine that there's water in there and the water is moving around and the water, sure enough, is going to find the opening of my quilt cover, of my pillowcase. And the water is going to have these socks moving with it. And the water is going to carry the socks into this opening. Just like a fishing net in the sea. Uh, you know, the water moves the fish nicely into the net. And then of course, those socks are going to go move all the way down to the end where they're never going to get out again because there isn't any water to slosh them back the other way. So once those socks have got down into the nether regions of that quilt cover, they'll never come back out again. So that, Emma, I think is the answer to your question. And thank you very much for submitting it. It's really nice to think about these things.